And then moving us on to, um, you know, recruitment support. So we have, um, you know, we have HR managers, we have recruiters, um, we have talent acquisition professionals on, on the call with us today. Yeah, seeking to engage, you know, neurodiverse talent. What if we want to kind of proactively, um, you know, as recruiters, um, you know, reach out to this this, uh, this this segment of the market? What's the best way to go about that, Christabel? If I can come to you on that first. Yeah, so I suppose there's a couple of things. Um, one, where are you advertising these roles? Are you doing it like the, the way you've done it for the last decade? Because that's probably not working and it's not going to work. So diversify on where you're actually advertising the roles, reaching out to organisations like Special Eastern, like the Open Doors Initiative, you know, you've got As I Am, um, the, the Dyslexia Association, all these organisations who have opportunities to share those job advertisements with people who are neurodivergent um, and even thinking about organizations that we don't hear about a lot like uh, dyspraxia for example like dyspraxia um, is a condition that would be identified as, as neurodiverse and we've got the dyspraxia association of ireland as well similarly they, they'd give advice around dyscalculia and dysgraphia and these are all things that terms that people aren't familiar with actually so um, that would be really really important um, and the second thing then is when you've gotten to, okay, where are we advertising? How are we advertising? So how are we advertising for the roles? What language are we using? I cannot stress enough the importance of drilling into the language that we're using. Like if I see one more job spec that says it requires an energetic person, I'm going to scream because I mean, if I read that, I'm thinking they're expecting me to be bouncing off the wall at 9 a.m. in the morning. And I can tell you now, when you've had to get up at six to, to feed a 15 month old and get them to crash, nobody is bouncing anywhere um, at 9 a.m. in the morning. So Very really, true. yeah. So just like be realistic, right, around the role. People don't need actually to be a strong communicator for every single job either. Like I have heard a lot of people who are neurodivergent talk about not applying for a job because it says strong communication skills. Whereas if the job had said strong communication skills, i.e. email predominantly email they may be more inclined because for some people the phone is a blocker so um absolutely where you're where you're advertising and how you're advertising and repeat 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 the offer of reasonable accommodations that you're going to offer them and that's at the job spec the interview stage the onboarding and the in-job 